Oh. All right. Uh, it says we are live. Hello. Hello, everyone. How are you doing this evening? Beautiful night. <laughs> so I, I got to give a shout out. First one, and I do see her in the chat. Katya Maldonado, who uh, got a hold of me, lives in Puerto Rico and uh, says we, you know, we bring like joy to her day and put a smile on her face. So uh, Katya, thank you so much for the kind words and uh, we're glad we can help. Well, if you happen to be related to Kirsten Maldonado, hook me up, please. <laughs> Big fan. Love pentatonics and uh, yeah. Very cool. Very cool. So yeah, hopefully you're nice and warm down in uh, Puerto Rico. I've only ever been there once or twice. But uh, always keep your head up, keep smiling. All will be cool. Stay positive. All that good stuff. But thanks for reaching out. I do have stickers on the way too. So thank you so much. And I know that uh, they just did a big box battle with Fox, and everyone got together and got Fox the uh, con sticker Mandalorian. So. Oh wow. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah, everyone chipped in and got him the con sticker Mando, which is like his Grail of Grails. Sounds very cool. Yeah, that is uh, that's really cool. Which is an uh, man, I think I think is like four hundred fifty dollars now. Well, we had uh, two red eyed freezes go out last weekend, also, and then Lisa last night opened her uh, Rapunzel, and I can't remember the name of the horse. Maximus. Maximus and Rapunzel. Yes. Yes. So. Very cool. I actually had to get a hold of her because I said, I have these Disney pops, Lisa. And you know, you're like the queen of Disney when it comes to pops. Did they reproduce series one and two, certain ones? And sure enough, she knew right away, yes, they did. Yeah, they produced them to different locales, and the Disney store is, I think, the most desirable one. But uh, it's pretty easy to tell. I mean, it has our Disney Store logo on the side, and it says Disney Store on the bottom of the box. I, I had some that were dated 2020 that they re-released. Uh, a little different. The Disney logo is different, but... Jack Skellington? Yeah. yeah, Jack Skellington and Maleficent. Yeah, those two have been reproduced. Yep. So hopefully everyone's doing well, staying safe, social distancing, yada, yada, yada. Yes, we're almost through another week of this awesomeness. <laughs> I'm getting close to the 4th of July, so always cool. I wanted to wear my hashtag Larry shirt that came in today, and I have no idea where I put it. I haven't got mine yet. I have it on order, but it hasn't come in quite yet. But Teespring, they, they, they worked. They're weird. I haven't gotten my Aiden shirt, but the Larry shirt came today. Some, oh, okay. For some reason, the, uh, the Larry shirt came... USPS and the Aiden shirt is coming DHL. So DHL means it's probably coming from overseas. So it might be a better quality. Maybe, but I was hoping to have it for the uh, upcoming stream on the 30th, which is, I think, Tuesday after next. So hopefully it gets yep. in time. Yep. Hashtag Aiden. Yeah, exactly. Some people have already gotten their shirts, though. So maybe they got them yeah. just here in the US. Yeah, I don't know how de how they determine what gets made overseas, what gets made here, but very very cool. I'm trying to think of anything else. Uh, did Mickey Mouse big Mickey Mouse Amazon thing came out for order today? Was that that five pack? Yeah, five pack. Uh, I saw it briefly. I didn't. Uh, I it was cool looking. I, I liked it. Chrono Battle number thirty six. Is it really that high? It's really that high. Wow, yeah, it is. Yeah. 18, 14, and 3. Well, thankfully we don't account for damage because my boxes are a little beat up this week. <laughs> yeah, we're not playing the uh, pop drunk rules. <laughs> no, be I, I'd be okay with that as long as you don't discount my value. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to think what I, Tiny Ghost, Tiny Ghost Minis came out this week. Interesting. I, I'm not super into Tiny Ghosts. I think I have one around here somewhere. Well, I, I, thanks, Blaine Pop Couple. I have Dink and Doink upstairs who just uh, howl out to have the Tiny Ghosts. Uh, yeah, I don't have that problem. I kind of just accumulate them as they come to me. Uh, I don't even know where the one is. I've been moving stuff around, and it's it's somewhere. But 
I like uh, Stumpalopagus there, though. That's pretty cool. Yeah, he came over from a uh, good old chap, Mattman. Uh, sent it to me out of his personal collection. Good flocked Snuffy. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he came immediately out of the box. <laughs> so I like that one. But yeah, no, I got my uh, chomp. I have no idea where the ghost is. Though. Oh, he's over there. He's under the desk over there. <laughs> Perfect placement. Great. And what do you guys, what do you guys think of the new the new pop wall? Oh right. yeah, I mean major glare spot in the middle. But uh, yeah, we got helmets. We got pops. There's my little picture from uh, uh, Ethan finds out that he drew me a while ago. Very awesome. Thank you, chap. And thank you for Snuffy, too. He fits right at home on top of Natsu's head. <laughs> thank you, Sarah and Brennan. Awesome. Yeah. I haven't seen anything. I don't know if there's any other cool news or stuff. Out well, I thought there. we were getting SDCC releases this week, and I've not seen anything. I haven't seen any. I mean, I saw the list that came out last week of stuff, but no, uh, nothing else other than that. Like Entertainment Earth showed two figures, but they weren't pops. They were just like figure figures. Yeah, they did a couple of two packs in there. Yeah. I don't know exactly what brand they are, but they're fifty dollars for each two pack. So it's a little, little pricey. A little, a little pricey. A little pricey. Thank you guys. Much appreciated. And uh, I feel much better about my purchase of the Poe helmet after rewatching uh, Force Awakens last night. Poe is a, a pretty badass pilot in Force Awakens. Yep, that's his thing. Even though you think he's dead for like two thirds of the movie. <laughs> what flock care products do you use for Snuffleupagus? Um, see, I have this uh, this fur fluffer. Kind of keeps him uh, fresh and Cosmo hair free. Thanks, Joa. They will. They will attack or dust attracts. Yes, uh, Cosmo hair is the first thing to stick that you really notice. I bet. Yeah, but we got Snuffy, and then we got our our demon dog here too. Oh, you can only kind of see Mister Demon Dog there. Very cool. Yeah, and we got yeah, Ken Ken Griffey Jr. Oh yeah, Griffey, and then uh, I don't know what PB with gun is. It's from Mass Effect Andromeda. No, nope. that was what uh, J Navo toys. Am I am I saying like, is it J Navo? J Navo, yeah. J Navo. There you go, Demon Dog, Natsu, All Might. I have, like, I don't even know. There's at least thirty out of box figures just sitting on the desk, including. Da, 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 da. He, I have nowhere to put the freaking thing. <laughs> He's literally just hanging out right over here. He visits, you know, nothing wrong with that. Yes, if you guys get sick of me, you uh, can always have good old Thor. Up here. Yeah. Little uh, Chris Hemsworth. Hey, I hey. Heard if you like the Hot Toys, they just released um, Loki from Avengers. Yes, and Thor's sleeves are made of real cobra skins. Just kidding. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're made of. <laughs> Pops with purpose. How are you guys doing? Elaine, Allen's Pops and stuff. Zach, Chap, Jeremy. Chap, which part makes you cry? Is it because of Iron Man. When are you going to have a mystery box? I don't have mystery boxes, Andrew. <laughs> uh, I'm tempted to maybe do one this weekend, but it'll be a damaged mystery box and literally probably like two or three boxes. It just depends on if I actually sit and do it. Because I've been cleaning cleaning stuff up and I have a pile that are sort of damaged pops. So, If you want to, if you want to cry, chap, just see this in your dreams. <laughs> Hi, chap. I'm your buddy. <laughs> there it is. David Soften will shed a tear, too. 
that one. It was, sad. it was sad. I give it. It was a sad moment. It's a if, they the, if they put the other, that's cool. I like that. This is a creepy looking dunny. Yes, it is. <laughs> I don't like it. It needs to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I get horror, they got. I had Annabelle, and I was real. I'm, I think I marked that thing really quick for sale after I talked to people that already had it, and it, it had to go. It literally went in a box as soon as a picture was taken out. I don't. I don't play with the horror pops, except for Pennywise, uh, Freddy Wise. I like Freddy Wise. The only I like one. That one. He's up there somewhere. He's just uh, just tremendously well done. Yeah. Oh yeah. He's under all my. Uh, oh my god. Yeah, right there. There he is. Where did uh, where did Plant Arlia go? Right here. Okay. <laughs> uh, eventually, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the uh, I'm going to take the signatures down. You can't really see them that well, and I have a that bottom row has a line of stuff that's in stacks that I don't know if it should be really or not. I guess indie should be, but I don't know. It's it's hard to get everything displayed that deserves a spot up there. It's true. You almost have to rotate it. I really do. Uh, Pink Chrome Batman is uh, on fire. Broke 500 yesterday. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah, there's a few of them that are getting really wild. Uh, Qui-Gon Jinn broke 700. I saw that was highly on the rise. Do we still have uh, Tupac and... Um, no? And B Flocked Beast? Tupac's gone. Flocked Beast is here right behind... Uh, I don't know how much my screen's up there. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so Flock Beast is right there. Uh, Tupac is gone. Metallic Genie is gone. Uh, Tupac paid for my six-month car insurance bill. <laughs> Flock Genie went towards brakes and tires. As did uh, regular Metallic Genie. Flock Life. Ge Freddy Genie. <laughs> oh, yeah, Joe. Planet all has got to stay close. Yes, I had Planet Arlia and the custom from uh, Middle Brothers Customs right there. I need to figure out if I can find a spot over there for B-Cobb's venomized uh, Pusheen that I bought the other night. Very cool. Did you? Uh, were you on the little raffle live? No, I didn't hop on the raffle. I've been now. Kids keep me busy. The little one's got some church thing going on, and oh, it's been a hectic time. B Cops was really well done. Uh, they all did custom Pusheens, if uh, everybody's not yep. aware. And uh, B Cops was really well done. Larry did a Michelangelo with the Pusheen holding the pizza. Metallic uh, Michelangelo Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. Uh, Andrea and Justin did like a Little Mermaid glitter type Pusheen. Uh, Big Dog Dave did. What did Dave do? Why am I not? I'm spacing on Dave, so I'll come back to it. And then Middle Brother Customs did Dave. What did what did you do, buddy? I can't. Why can't I remember? I was bidding on it too. Uh, Middle Brother Customs did Freddy Krueger as uh, Pusheen. Yes, Dave's was Charizard. That's it. Insane stuff. Dave did a Charizard. I think all of us got a little antsy as there were less and less. They just kind of kept getting more expensive, and then. Uh, Nick from Bands for Arms came in and bought the Freddy Krueger Pusheen for two hundred dollars. <laughs> Shouts out to Nick and Yo Jay, who's out there with him right now. Yes, pack boxes, guys. Quit drawing raffles. Quit buying stuff. Where's my boxes? <laughs> yes, you did, chap. You outbid me on Teenage Mutant Ninja Pusheen. Where do you get? Tui shelves, your shelves, uh, IKEA. They're called IKEA Moss Landa picture ledges. They're not canceled. Shh, quiet. Everything goes good at uh, at IKEA. You can also get glass detox cases if you guys want those. IKEA sells some good stuff. I'm tempted to get one of. The, man, there's no good place to put it. Is the issue? It takes up a, it takes up a little room. I wanted to put it in the corner over there. I might actually put it right here next to me where no one's even going to be able to see it but me and then put a bunch of the uh, Van Presto figures in there. It'd be cool. Well, it's not your basement, Dave. You just work there. 
It was awesome, Larry. I shouts out to the uh, hashtag Aiden AMC support cause. A lot of money has been raised for that. Absolutely. I hope my shirt comes soon. But awesome stuff, Larry. Definitely. And I think Dave's doing another live. I forget what the night is to raise more money for that. That's awesome. I think what else is coming up? I mean, uh, I know Wink Inc. has a big giveaway, big, huge thing coming up uh, Sunday afternoon, evening. Yeah, Wink is doing, I think he said, like, 5 Eastern, you can go in there and start registering. It starts at 6. Yep. But he said there's, like, 30 or 40 giveaways. He's just going to be doing giveaways the whole stream this weekend. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I sent him, a, like, an anything box down there to him. So he got that, so it should be cool. Awesome guy. If you guys, if you guys missed Wink. Sunday, real great guy. Check him out. Yes, Joe. Great with the comic books. That's his. That's like his shtick. He loves the comic books. I have gotten a few lately just from uh, hopping in on some of the the auctions where people are putting them up for like a dollar or two. I tried um, to hit him up. I said, I, I, I always hear about this G.I. Joe one that someone just has to have. And he's like, yep, it's that one. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he he has a GI Joe number one on his wall that I'm always like I want that. But honestly, I I would want a super low grade if I if I was going to read it, or a higher grade than Wink has. <laughs> I think Wink's is a nine two. Yeah. So, uh, Joa, I am super heavily considering getting those fig pins. Yes, Mandalorian five pack. I know a lot of people are turned off because they're going to open it. What? Friday, and then they stop it on Monday, and then whatever amount's ordered, that's what they're going to make. Yeah. If if anyone has any notions of getting those to flip them, don't. Because they're going to make however many they get for orders, which is great for Figpin, and honestly really cool for anybody who wants to collect it, because you're going to get it. But it's awful if anybody's going to try and resell it or hang on to it and hope it's worth something, because I'm sure they're going to make 2,500 to 5,000 of them. You guys see how popular the Mandalorian is. Everyone's going to want it. It's a great set. It looks awesome. The uh, Mandalorian, little... yeah. Mando himself is really, really good looking on that one. So collectors, get it to enjoy it. Don't don't get it to flip. It's not going to be worth it. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Yeah, agreed. Like, get anything else Mandalorian, because if season two takes off and is as good as what it sounds like it's going to be, Stuff will go bananas. I mean, a, a con. I mean, God knows a D twenty three Mando is. Uh, I couldn't even imagine what that is right now. I don't get that because it's just the common with a sticker on it. Yeah. Like, why is that special? <laughs> like the con sticker and the regular. That's separated and. Uh, like, Again. You, guys, you guys can take PPG when it comes to Mandalorian and just throw it out the door. You're not going to get stuff for PPG. You're going to pay over. If you want it. You have G.I. Joe number one signed by Larry Hanma and one of the artists. Wow. That's Ooh. awesome. Super mute. Uh, that's cool. Yeah. I love the G.I. Joe stuff. I've been able to get most of the pops I didn't have off of uh, Amazon through bait. There's still a couple I don't have that are silly. And I actually have a Sergeant Slaughter as the wrestler that sits in my G.I. Joe collection because they <laughs> make a Sergeant Slaughter G.I. Joe pop. It counts. It counts. It's the same guy. Yeah, it's the same guy. I should say it's the same character that he plays in both. I love the toys. Those toys back in the day, the GI Joe toys were awesome. I, I wanted that. Uh, what was it? Not the the the, the big ship. Oh, God, the I wanted aircraft the, carrier. The flag. My mom was. There's no way I was getting it because it was. I mean, back in the day, I, I forget what that thing was. It was real expensive. Probably to today's market would probably cost five hundred dollars back then. It's it, it's bananas big too. It's like almost seven feet long. It's ungodly big. Yeah, the U.S. I mean, flag in a sealed box or with a box, they're outrageously expensive. But uh, oh, I have, the biggest one I still have. So I have the jet with the two twins, uh, Tamox and Zamot, and then I have the uh, mobile command center, which is the three level. G.I. Joe headquarters that folds out. I still have that. And They're awesome toys. Pops with purpose. I tried to go on uh, HBO Max and find it. I don't remember if it was you or if you were the one saying you were watching, recording the episodes late at night and watching them in the morning. 
But uh, also, Michael, feel free to go over to the Bands for Arms shop and kick OJ in the balls. <laughs> I forgot how long was OJ there? Another day, couple days? Uh, I think he's out there for a week. So, yeah, he's probably there to the uh, weekend. Discovery Family. Somebody was saying it was on HBO Max, and I went on there and couldn't find it. Although I've been watching Space Ghost Coast to Coast, which is another uh, favorite of mine. You ever watch that? Once or twice, yeah. yeah it's it's a silly talk show. <laughs> yes, even chat would like you to go kick OJ in the balls. There you go. The Mobile Command Center back. Yeah, 80, the 80s were G.I. Joe. I remember watching G.I. Joe and Transformers, and the toys were just awesomely done it's just my mom i wanted that battle ain't gonna happen too big ain't going in the house and she wouldn't pay i mean the money was back then i don't know what that thing was 200 dollars maybe back then i'm sure it was at least 150 or 200 bucks yeah and back then that was probably in today's what's like 500 yeah it would have been a heck of a christmas present Oh, yeah. Amazon France released uh, pictures of an early pre-order for PlayStation 5. Yeah, so I think it translates to be uh, $550 or something like that, dollars, American. Yeah. It was 500 euros, which isn't... Uh, I thought it would be more, to be honest. Especially yeah, for the version with the disc player. Yeah, two versions. One with a disc, one without a disc. And I've heard November 20th. Hmm. We'll see if that's accurate or not. Pop and Duo, I barely remember any of the old Voltron. Mostly just G.I. Joe and Transformers. Oh, oh Voltron and with the Lions? Absolutely. Love Voltron with the Lions. The Voltron with the other the little ships and everything, I, I hated that. With Voltron with the Lions, I, I, oh, I still have the old die cast that sits over here, and I always look on Macari and eBay for the... Uh, I want a deluxe Matchbox Deluxe one with GB36 stickers on it in decent condition. I've never found it yet. but Good luck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, if I do, I'll, I'll probably have to pay through the nose to get it. Yeah. Volt Mask. Do you remember Mask? I never saw Mask. I've heard you talk about it a few times, but I've never yeah. seen it. I always loved Mask. Only lasted, I think, three seasons. But I, I tell I you what, I go over to hang out with my nephew, and he has some of the – I'm like, dude, where did you get this? I want it. My sister's like, oh, it was like 200 bucks to buy all those things. I'm like, I still want it. <laughs> <laughs> They'll have the fully assembled Voltron. I and mean, they have the new, they've come out with, I guess, some newer iterations of Voltron, but it's those old 80s that are like really cool die casts. There's just not, nothing quite like it. Yeah, it's not the, not quite the same. Same they thing with the with collectors. They, I forget, they came out with like a book that was a collector's version a couple years ago, which was close. But still, eh, not quite there. Yeah, I tried to watch the Netflix show, the the newer cartoon. I wasn't into it. Yeah, even if I go back and look at Voltron now, it's just not quite the mystique as it was. But it's still, it's cool. It reminds me of my childhood. Mask was awesome. If they made a movie with Mask, that'd be insane. But I, if there's anywhere to watch Mask, let me know, guys, because I need to see this and see if it rings a bell or anything. Like that. I know I have we have the whole DVD set here. I don't know where it would be to watch it. I have to think. I have to look around for that one. Well, if you want to ship me the DVDs, I'll watch them. Okay. I I still have this sitting here. I keep uh, meaning to open it, and I I never open it. It's the old uh, the old luau envelope. Oh, 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 yes, I know it's in there. Yeah, I know you do. It's just kind of <laughs> Save for a cave or something like that. Well, I got a, I got another one for you from you today. I haven't been buying as much, so collector's caves don't make as much sense when uh, I'm not unboxing tons of boxes, you know? Yeah, there's not, um, I don't know, Toy USA is getting in the Grail game again. I mean, they're fair. Tomorrow's actually might interest me more than any of them. What's coming out tomorrow? Uh, they have another 250 Grail box, but I mean a nice amount of chases and some cool stuff. I but, haven't seen anything like from Toy USA recently that's really made me actually want to buy it. That's the only box that has at least piqued my interest where I'll consider losing seventy five dollars. Yeah, please don't send me any more glitter bombs. That was a mess. <laughs> I mean, I was happy to get the uh, 
the gift cards out of it, but there's my whole cooler is out on the deck filled with confetti and glitter. Oh, God. Yeah. If I had actually opened that thing inside, it, I would have been really angry. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Don't want a glitter bomb. I still no, have a splat there. sitting somewhere, Xavier. I think it's right here behind me. Yeah, I still have my splat sitting over here. I haven't opened mine yet. And then these things, I don't know, have you seen the uh, the pop pins yet? That's kind of cool. I don't I don't know if I'm going to be into it because I have so many fig pins. They're, it's not bad. It's not quite a thick a fig pin, but I mean, it's cool. It's, it's big. Bad. It's big. I'll yeah. give it that. And it has a little stand that pops out that you can stand it. You can put it on. See, that's cool. I'm it's waiting kind of for it. Like built into it, but it's almost like a hollow. In it. It's not a fig pin. It's not as good as a fig pin. Well, I want fig pin to release the, uh, what is it called? The hero plex thing, hero complex, mm -hmm. the little 3d printed things you can just pull and stick on the wall and put your fig pins in. That would be cool. It would be nice. Cause I have a lot of areas like you can't see any of them without me moving the camera to weird angles, but areas in between like two sets of doors or where there's an angle and I can't put a whole shelf up to put pops up. So it'd be cool to do a smaller display of just, you know, the five Mando fig pins, five My Hero, five, you know, whatever. Something yeah. smaller like that would be good for, for those. I'm sure they're kicking Star I mean, they have the one Star Wars that's sold out, but I'm sure they're going to make some more Star Wars are going to come. Yeah, I didn't get that one. I kind of regret that. You know what? Uh, Mini Hedwig came out this way. I know even Lisa, I think, missed that one. I think C4, I don't know if I saw him in here, but I think he helped her get one. Uh, the way they do it is they'll they'll sell them through, and then it's kind of like some of the other smaller companies like Bim Toy, they'll repost stuff on like 10-minute intervals or half-hour intervals as they go through and cancel bot orders. Yep. So I think Lisa was able to snag one of those. That's good. That was a cool little, uh, that was a cool fig pin. Seven, and nobody wants to move when you're at this stage. No one. There's no one who wants to move the amount of stuff that I have. <laughs> There's probably like 8,000 pounds of magic cards in here. Oh, yeah. I can imagine that. <laughs> Those boxes are... I, I didn't even get them all into other boxes to get them out to recycling because there's so many. Well, I think there was like eighteen or $19,000 worth of just master boxes that I was opening or that I was tossing out. Good stuff. Yeah. Devin's like, sell the boxes. I'm like, they're empty, dude. They're just like stacked up as like wallpaper, basically. <laughs> you want to open some boxes? Let's open some boxes. You guys want to see some boxes? So we're on, uh, what, May 28th. Yep, that's where I'm at is the 28th of May. No, I do not have a Lotus Sin. I have zero power. 20-some dual lands, but I have no power nine. Sin asked if I own a very expensive card. Oh. Better love where you live. I'm happy. <laughs> Devin isn't here to bet with. I don't know where Devin is. Can't help you with that one, Joe. <laughs> He's somewhere you never know with Devin. Yeah. Let me get Could to working. PBG up here. Now, hopefully, you're going to stay away from that Naruto this week because I'm tired of seeing $27 commons. Yeah. There have been a few. I, they've made remade a couple different things. Jareth, I know he they remade him. Yeah. Uh, what else? But that Naruto <laughs> one has gotten me like two weeks in a row. Yes. <laughs> Probably Alexander. <laughs> you never know. And the only problem with where I live is there's no uh, there's no yard for Cosmo, and there's no garage for me to store stuff in. No garage, no attic. You almost have to get like a storage unit for that. That's probably a pain in the butt, and not necessarily close. I'm just waiting until somebody, one of my neighbors, moves out, and then I can just buy their place to store things in. Hopefully, they have a garage. <laughs> I'll rent out one of the rooms, and I'll just use the other one for storage. All right, uh, you want to go first, or you want me to uh, fire it up? 
Okay, fire it up. So, Larry, we're 18, 14, and 3. Yeah. We need a 15 here. I could use that 60 bucks. <laughs> Daddy wants good bourbon this weekend. <laughs> All right. Again, guys, out Jay Navo Boy. Yeah. I have actually haven't seen either him or Nick in here, and I've seen them in live streams the past few days. So, Tickles, get Yo Jay and Nick to come in here. Where's the opening? There it is. You get that life? Yeah. All right. First one up. We got no sticker. We got a... Oh, that's kind of cool. It's Amon from The Legend of Korra. Okay. So if these are getting into the boxes now, that means we could possibly come across a Chase Korra, which would be pretty cool. I, I have I've seen her at least posted on stores, not necessarily for sale. Uh, it would probably be an overseas one if we do see it. Yeah, yeah. These are marked April first. Oh, yeah. John, are you interested in orange paint pin sign Liz from Zobie Box? I actually have. That's orange, right? That is orange. I got orange paint pin signed Liz. But thank you. Shout out to anyone that was able to get the, uh, they posted the extra DX anime box, which I think was like two autograph pops and another autograph today. I wanted to get one, but uh, the discount was, I've had problems with the discount showing up from Zobi lately. No. Yeah. So I, I didn't get see, it. Clint opened one the first time I ever saw one of their uh, shout out things yesterday, which was, was kind of cool. The V shouts. The V shouts, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got to look up what the pop's worth. So Amon has no value, so we'll throw him in a 10. 10. $10. All right, I got no stick R. We got... Oh, Mosquito. Oh, good old Masters of the Universe. 52 out of 450. Not bad, Cope. I got uh, 402 and 403 were my print numbers. Mosquito. That's great. Uh, he is also no value. Ten dollars. Very $10. cool. I, I'm glad they made more Masters of the Universe. Very cool. I don't know what Mosquito sounds like though. I barely remember him. I'm gonna start opening the beat boxes. Ooh. It yes. might have made it. It might have made it. This well, I mean, the way this one's hit, it could be okay. There we got Jay Nabo Toys in the building. How is it going, sir? Oh, what's up, James? How you doing, buddy? And guys, go check out his mystery boxes. Uh, maybe he just dropped some hit or misses, and his packaging is That's good. Yeah, it's good. Uh, so it's a little squished, whatever it is. We do have a sticker. Ooh, okay. I think it's a overseas sticker. We've got... Ooh, oh, come on. I wish this one wasn't... It's got the crunch right here in the corner. Oh, it's an awful place to get it. Ah, it's a cool one, too. It's Adam Warlock. 80 years. Very cool. I'll probably, yeah, I'll probably still keep it. <laughs> yeah, so I'm for cool. anybody who can't tell, that entire wall, aside from those two shelves right there, is all marble. And I could probably fill another wall with marble. I wonder where he's exclusive to. Uh, I can tell you here in a second. I think it's FYE. Oh, no, he is Walgreens, and he's in at $34. Oh, my goodness. I mean, he is uh, Adam Warlock, not playing around. Uh, a cha-chinger. <laughs> Cha-ching. There, we got Yo Jays in the chat. You got a fresh new... Did you get the full art luau shirt, Jay? Is that a Teespring thing, Andrew? This one? No, this the, one is... The full art one that you were wearing. It's got, like, the... Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. I like that I, one. And the material, it's like in the material, and it's like the stretchy material. I actually bought a, uh, I actually ordered another one for myself. I liked it a lot. <laughs> Brian would like you to lunch yourself in the nuts. Yeah, Jay. Oh, he deleted it. What's up, Sean Harris? I'm ahead of Andrew until he pulls a chase out. Or Naruto. 
It's a, it's a different sticker. Maybe it's a Barnes and Noble, maybe. Okay. It is. Oh, Count uh, Dooku. Oh, Count Dooku. I don't know if he's recovered since they uh, a bunch of boxes. I'm going to gather not. I think he's still... I think last time I saw he might be in the teens. Ooh. Uh, what's the number on that? Two, three, three. Thirty-two dollars. Whoa. So Dooku is re them Star Wars pops. They're they're coming. They're coming. But yeah, he was all over. Was it? Uh, it was Chalice and Chrono Toys that dumped a bunch of those about a year ago? Oh yeah. <clears throat> I want two more of those. Uh, what is it? Those chrono damage boxes for for jj was talking about doing another battle the last one wasn't was decent so i'll do it well, i'm gonna open this because people are talking about the luau hats so i might as well bust out the luau other stuff um, we're th guys this will be the first time anyone other than a channel member has seen this so here we go how many are there it's three three okay They're friends and family ones so they are, but they're the, they're the three. All right, so we've got three. Two of them look the same. Is there a difference between these two? One of them has, like, the red, I think, is, like, a glitter diamond. Oh, red. okay. So that would make this the uh, the regular, and then the glitter is the chase. Yep. So there we go. We got the luau, the luau pin with the supreme hat. And is that a Hawaiian shirt you're rocking there? It is a Hawaiian shirt, a little Magnum PI type style shirt on it. Yeah. And then you got multiple chase options on the back, it looks like. Yep. There's a glow and a diamond. Yeah. So FF number five. Friends and family number five. Yes. So glitter and glow. Then we've got the chase glitter version. Which is hard to see. It didn't come out as great as I would have liked it, but it is what it is. When you know what you're looking for, it looks really cool. So let's see if we can get a... The camera's going to have to cooperate, but you see in the Supreme, in the red back there, it looks more like it's diamondy. <laughs> yeah. Through the camera, but it's like a glittered background to the Supreme hat. So this is FF number two. Yo just says they're fucking dope. So glitter FF number two. And they've got double backs too, which is really nice, guys. Both of them have double pin backs. And then here, oh actually I got a glow one too. Oh yeah. Well, wow, dang. Andrew hooked it up. So we've got Luau. Come on, camera. You can do it. Bam. There it is. There you yep. go. The Luau Glow Chase FF2. So these are going to be avail available on Etsy to the public. Uh, do you have a date? Probably the weekend of July 4th. These are awesome, dude. All the pins will be available. Five black hats, six ones that have like a leather enclosure, and 12 of the gray hats will all go up there. Very, very cool. Got my tri set of luau pins. So Andrew's been hooking it up lately. I need to figure out something to send him. I think there'll be another one for Halloween, and then there'll be a real kick ass one come Christmas. I don't get too much away with the Christmas one, is dope. <laughs> so people are asking where you had them made. It's uh, custom match pin, uh, custom hat pins. Custom hat pins, yep. They Danger, really nice. guys. You gotta you gotta buy a hundred of them and uh, every little thing you add to it adds to the dollars to it. But um, some I wanted to try, so we'll see how it goes. What are the numbers on each? Uh, if you have that handy, Fif fifty uh, regulars, 25, twenty five gold, and twenty five uh, diamond glitter. Very, very cool. But yeah, check it out on uh, Etsy. I'm assuming link will be in your description when it's ready to roll. Catch a, it'll be a Sunday night when I when I release. And if you're a channel member or a Patreon, you will have a, a first opportunity. This oh. is <laughs> so not not all beat up boxes get made into weird thumbnails where you're like for YouTubers. Some of them just get opened on uh, <laughs> on mystery box battles. This one's this one's not looking great either. So first beat up box was a thirty four dollar pop. Let's see what's in here. 
an ang on water scooter chase. Oh my god, I hope not. It's it's got a sticker. Ooh. It might. I, oh no, that's the etching on the bottom. I was like, is it in a protector? No. <laughs> yeah. It's the print on the bottom. It does the top sticker is sprinkled. No sticker. Uh, it's actually fine. It feels fine. We've got there's Cora. Oh, here it is. God, that's a cool pop. So isn't isn't there gonna be isn't there a store exclusive one of her or no? I don't know if there's a store exclusive. I know there's a glow chase of this yeah. where all the so what she's doing is she's bending all the elements. So she's the avatar, I think about 70 years after Aang passes away. Wow. So it's like the next uh, iteration of the story. Korra's the avatar. So she's bending all the elements behind her. That's very cool. It is. I mean, you can see the base is the, uh, the earth, and then you got fire and water and air all around her. So it's very cool. Oh, actually it's hot cool. Food box. Cope says it's the Hot Topic exclusive that has the glow chase, so I have been corrected. Cora corrected, oh. even. Jarhead Collector, how's it going, my friend? Man, if one of us finds that uh, that chase, it's 75 bucks right now. But uh, this Cora has no value. 10 bucks. Definitely a cool one. Yeah. So, it's like that Patrick, uh, what, that Patrick Bateman is weird, too. It's That's got a pretty high value. That's Yeah, that one does. A, a few of those newer chases do. This actually looks better to me than the exclusive because this one has all the elements that she's bending. The I like that. Yeah, the exclusive's just her with the uh, like avatar, like glossed over eyes kind of state. That is cool. Yeah, I like this one. What, which one has – that one has the chase glow or the – Hot, to uh, hot topic where she's it's called avatar state where you know where they're like eyes turn all glossed over yeah all right no sticker oh bam hermione granger what is she holding uh, oh she's making the feather float okay that's kind of cool oh yeah it's kind of like you can see it, it probably won't show up but it's like whirlwind there it is yeah wingardium leviosa very cool uh, Katya, the pins are going to be available on Andrew's Etsy shop. I'm assuming once he sets his Etsy shop up. If I set it up, then they go live. So I don't want to do that. So it'll all be on a weekend, probably Sunday night, July 5th. Uh, do you have price points for the hats and pins yet? Or are you still thinking on that? The, the I know a lot of people sell pins for 20 bucks. I, that's to me outrageous. Uh, pins will probably be like, ten dollars shipped uh hats are a little bit more pricier hats on will probably be closer to 30 shipped uh hermione also no value so rounds one and three we've both gone with the newer pops and we're separated by what do we separate by three bucks four bucks two dollars two dollars you had the dooku at 32 and uh adam warlock which is actually really cool looking Oh, I didn't catch that. He's wearing the Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, wow. Yeah. So he's wearing... And I didn't even show the back off, too, which is my favorite thing about these 80-year pops. Is the, uh, It's usually something from their first appearance comic book. So, so he, he's got the Infinity Gauntlet in the, uh, in the comic there. The story is that is uh, from the Guardians of the Galaxy Part 2. That's who they're making in that chamber, right? I think that's what it's supposed to be. Okay. But I, I honestly don't know a whole lot about Guardians of the Galaxy, but I have heard other people say that. So, yeah, we are 54 and 52 right now. I'll let it up to you. You want me to go first and come back and win it, or what do you want to do? I'd like to come back and win it, actually. Yeah, like, give me a shot to do that. Right. Just, no, no Naruto, and no Panda Pool Chase. <laughs> Beat me with something that's not one of those two. Uh, did you see... Um... Alexander Perez's uh, glittered panda pool custom. Yes, uh, cheap and nerdy got one, and I've Very seen a cool. couple, actually. I think I've seen a couple of those. Do we have a chase? <laughs> we don't have a sticker, so there's uh, no chase. Is it Naruto? <laughs> no, it's yellow. 
Uh, I, I saw what it is. Uh, you you got a really good shot to win this one. It is. Post. Well, Post Malone has a little extra value than a regular common. A little. Uh, he's, whoa. All right, more than a little, apparently. Post is in at 19. Okay. So I need 17 to tie and more to win. So these newer pops aren't going to do it. I'm going to need an exclusive or or a post ball. <laughs> yeah, he's at 19. I think he was 14 when I pulled him last week. Which is weird because I think you can still get him on uh, Chalice, I believe. Uh, you can still get a lot of this stuff a lot of places, but I think people who are outside of the actual Funko Pop collector community, these, yeah, they'll buy them on Mercari or eBay if they're less than 30 bucks without really caring. There's Jarhead says in the comics, uh, they summon him and he comes to fight Thanos. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. All right. We want a tie. Well, we need something in the seventeen dollar range to facilitate a tie. South Georgia Phoenix, what's up? There's no sticker, and I'm gonna guess it's a basketball pop because I feel that little rounded ball thing on the side. So let's see what we got. We got. Oh no, it's Wizarding World. I don't floor know. If, floor. I don't think Floor is gonna do it. I think Floor might bring it up a little bit short there. Let's see. Floor Delacour. Thank goodness I typed that in before. $9. Ouch. Oh, things are not doing well for the taco. <laughs> <laughs> yes, wrecked again. Oh, there's the chap. Yes, congratulations, Andrew. Now 19, 14, and 3? 19, 14, and 3. There was a point where I was ahead by like three guys, and it feels like it was an eternity ago. You had me by more than that. Last summer, you had me up. Man, it was like 6 to 1, 7 to 2. It was, it was down. Well, those days are long behind us, but I do have a large box with a bunch of Harry Potter stuff in it, and... She's not one of them, so she can go join all of her friends in that box. Yes, all the air has been taken out of the taco tonight. <laughs> but I am on vacation next week, so... There you go. Yeah. It might it might be good for us to take a week off so I can recover from the, the butt-kicking I've been receiving the last month or two. Are you staying home, or are you, guys, are you renting, a, renting a place again? Uh, the plan currently, I'm, I might go away for a weekend, but the plan currently is to uh, redo the office a bit here to kind of recoup some of this wasted space over here. Cosmo is just out. There you go. Hi, buddy. He's like, Cosy. He winked. He's blinking. He's half asleep. Got his workout in with a uh, little... Little bulldog named Howie, who's kicking his butt. <laughs> yes, congrats to Luau. I have been wrecked. Although, thank you to everyone who keeps sending uh, Taco Bell gift cards because I figured out that you can load those into the app, and you just go in the app, and before you even go to Taco Bell, you're just like, "I want this and this and this and this and this." You go to the drive-through, you say, "Pick up for Sean." Go, it gets billed straight through the cards on the app, and you don't have to do anything. Wow. I didn't know they did that. Yeah. That's uh, it's quite useful. <laughs> Save me some time because when the kids and the the wife want Taco Bell, I God, I hate going sitting there at the menu, and I don't know the menu that well because I don't eat Taco Bell. And ugh. then uh, they want some special stuff. Could I have the nachos Bell Grande with no tomatoes? Can you add sour cream, extra sour cream, and a side of guacamole? <laughs> you can do all that in the app. You can switch all the you stuff. Do that. They don't. Not this. Not this. Not this. It's it's great. <laughs> And and that way, did you enjoy the cards I sent you, Sean? Uh, yeah, they're in they're in the app, Chris. I did not enjoy the glitter bomb <laughs> or the glitter pinata, whatever you want to call that thing you sent me. It's I don't know if I'm going to be able to use that cooler again without. 
<laughs> I don't. I don't know if water is going to drain through there again. <laughs> but yes, it was great. Yes, Taco Bell app for the win. Uh, the shredded. It's on the dollar menu with them or the value menu. Shredded chicken melt. Replace the chicken with steak. That's that's a tip from Devin. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> I haven't eaten Taco Bell in a while. It's it's one of those easy things to get for lunch. I actually got uh, what's it called? Freshly, one of the uh, meal delivery things. I yeah, started yeah. this week. Good. It's not bad. I mean, it actually it comes frozen, uh, and then you just kind of defrost before you heat it up. It's it's been good. It tastes like actual prepared food, unlike most frozen meals. Kind of tastes like junk. So it's microwave. You just you nuke it for three minutes. Yeah. Hmm, that's yep. not bad. Yep, it comes in a big uh, box with like uh, all kinds of wrapping and ice. It was still Expensive. frozen when it got here, and it had been on the truck for twelve hours. Expensive? Uh, it's like sixty bucks a week. You get six meals for sixty bucks. So it's like ten dollars a meal delivered. Not bad when you think about it. No, and you get a bunch of options too. So I think I had steak, peppercorn last night with uh, sautéed green beans and carrots, and then I had a creamy chicken casserole tonight, which is essentially. It was like uh, stuffing with chicken instead of turkey. Send you a new cooler for my birthday next year. That'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, Nikki. Office. Go ahead, oh, Nikki. Uh, what? No Taco Bell down uh, down under? Uh, I get it. Maybe not. There's actually videos I think on YouTube where you can watch uh, non uh, Americans try Taco Bell, and Australians are some of the people to try it. It's just cheap. It's fast food tacos. <laughs> yep. And what they call a chalupa. Is, quesadillas. Uh, quesadillas were always good. I like quesadillas. It's, how do you screw it up? It's melted cheese and whatever you want to put on it. Very true. Very true. And I'm simple because I don't play with the beans. and I like the rice, but beans, lettuce, tomatoes, don't eat that. Wow. Well, I'll eat anything. I, 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 I will not even argue with them if they ask me for things. I'm the guy who is like, here, let me get this. You want Supreme? Sure, what the hell? I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that. I guess that means you add tomatoes and sour cream to it. Sure, do it. <laughs> Cheesy gordita crunch. I, I like the hard shell wrapped with the soft shell and then cheese in the middle. I don't know what that is. Maybe that's a crunch. I don't know. I think that's a cheesy gordita crunch. I like that. That was good. I do that with the, it's called the double decker. You get the beans, the refried beans mm. in the middle instead of the cheese. Taco yeah. John. But I'm still playing with the keto thing. So no, no bread, no Taco Bell. You can get Taco Bell, but it's like you said, it's obnoxious. Very, you have yeah. to say like, no shells, basically. No shells, no beans, no rice. Then you piss them off and it's still like, yeah, you know. Nah. Well, it's actually probably easier for them to make because what they do is they take one of those little plastic containers and dump they it in. Put everything in there instead of into a, a shell where they don't have to wrap it. They just put a lid on it. Jared K. Quesarito. Yeah. Yeah. Steak chalupas. <laughs> John's ordering. You can always upsell him. That is accurate. I don't think I've ever said no to somebody offering me a larger size beer. <laughs> <laughs> I would like this beer. Do you want the 12 ounce or the 22 ounce or the 60 ounce? And I'm like, bring me the big one. <laughs> <laughs> God. Did I never anything come back into that brewery down by your place? It's gone. Oh. They lost the, the uh, empty building. Nothing ever. No other new bar or anything like that. Um, I don't know. I haven't been over there since, but they uh, they did not renew their lease at the beginning of this year. It's a shame. That was a cool place. One of my favorite places to just go sit and eat at, but unfortunately, they're not making the money to uh, pay the rent for that location. Not a whole lot you can do. That other place has been doing. They've been doing ramen nights. They've been doing taco nights. They've been doing um, like. Uh, Prime rib nights, all kinds of stuff. Wow. Yeah, all all pick up uh, meals meals ready to go. That was a cool place. I like that. Those boar ribs were good. And I'm sitting like, watching that, watching uh, Larry order a simple salad that was actually quite interesting too. <laughs> Larry's got never ending crap for uh, his fear of food. 
Oh, yeah. We're sitting there chomping down. We're like, all right, let's order two things. We'll split it. You take half, I'll take half. Let's get the boar ribs. And Larry's just sitting there looking. And what should I get? What do you want, Larry? I don't know. A salad? Okay. They Here's a simple salad. And it comes. And Larry's looking at the thing. And it, it's not like – it's a little bit more of a – not a fancy, fancy place. But, you know, a little bit more upscale. And Larry's looking at it. It's not just regular, like, you know, iceberg lettuce in a bowl. It's <laughs> – to, to be Take fair, Larry, we were even trying to get you to eat the boar ribs. Like, here, eat some of these, Andrew. And Larry, I'm gonna we're we're going to torch these boar ribs. If you want one, you better get in and get in on this. But uh, next time you come, Larry, we can go to Don Julio's and we'll have the scratch made uh, Mexican with the sangaritas, I think they're called. It's sangria and margarita together. And then they pour a shot of. Uh, oh, man, I can't even remember what uh, what liquor it is over top, but it's delicious. You set up, Larry. When it's uh, when it, we're a little bit better and a little bit more open, I, I'm down. We'll do another. We'll do another run. Maybe we get Devin to come visit or in that vicinity or something. You, you actually have a probably a better shot of Ed driving out here, although he's pretty far south. I, I know. Ed talked about doing. They're doing their show again in August, and I was I was thinking, man, that kind of be a cool trip. I'm gonna send uh good old ray mysterio out there to get signed by ray mysterio <laughs> that'd be cool yeah that pop is starting to get some value on it too a lot of more that's surprised some a lot of stuff going up guys what's up todd you're gonna sell now is the time to sell no not necessarily the time to buy but no i got another one of those uh after people watched the video I did from Jay Nabo the other day, I got some messages for other mystery box companies. I have one for LA Pop sitting in the other room. Oh, okay. I want to know what it is. I Another guy has got some... Uh, I don't know if it's... Uh, he's got guts. He's sending me one of the boxes from a uh, $50 box run. Wow. So I, I usually tell people it's probably not the best idea to do that. Just because you have no idea what I'm going to receive, it's probably just going to be one or two pops. It's not going to showcase a whole lot of anything. Like, I'm either going to hit something, people are going to say it's rigged, or I'm going to not get something, and people are going to be like, those boxes suck, I'm not buying them. <laughs> so usually I'm like, you want to send me something, just send me like something that represents what normally goes in your boxes. Always you know? works better. Yeah, like you tried the uh, Brew City Collectibles for anyone that's ever. They had a Star Wars Episode Three box, hmm. so I actually tried them over the weekend. They messaged me and said, "Here, we're releasing some boxes I've never bought from." Them. So, wow, all right. It's like a bunch of troopers. Did they send it to you, or are you buy? Yeah. No, no, no. I bought it. I oh. bought it. I bought it. I but it was cool. I've not bought a whole lot lately. I bought those $10 chalice boxes just because when YoJ opened them last time, he was getting like flocked bought Ross and he was getting cool pops. So I gave them a shot that was six boxes for like 70 bucks shipped. Yeah, you can't beat that. I mean, that was the one where it was like they guarantee you not the, any of their exclusives. Common Ichigo worth $80. That sounds wild. Uh, 45 on PPG. New Zealand. Oh, he may be 80 in uh, in Kiwi Land. Yeah. But he was still available on Galactic, but they keep raising their price along with PPG going up for him. Yeah, he's up to 30 now on Galactic. So $5 for him is an awesome deal. This one. Yeah, that one. That one. Yep, those are still out there. Uh, I think there is, does it have a 2020 date on the box. It does, yes. Yeah, so they're they're repros. They're not like it's the same pop, but it's just you know created newer because they didn't. Yeah, like, uh, let me find one. Here we go. So here's a good old uh, series two Jack Skellington, mm -hmm. but it's dated 2019. It's rare that anyone is going to care about that, but there are some who will. And they made them differently. I think the Disney on the top is the is the big difference. I think. 
Not to ask Lisa. Lisa's the, the expert on that. But. Uh, yeah, no, Dobby. Dobby yeah. Huh. Eighty dollars for Dobby uh, shared now, and one thirty for Con. Yep. Crazy. You just never know. And ho hopefully everyone that put in Hot Topic orders for the Ang on Air Scooter gets it. It seems like a lot of people have it now. So I must have hit a pretty good uh, remake. I, I, Are people getting chases off of that? Like, I haven't been keeping up with it. I was looking at Toy USA, which is like an overseas one. They have, like, I mean, tons of them. It still says 210 on PBG, but I'll give that, like, 30 to 60 days to let some of those get out on the market and get sold. Yeah, it's going to go, it's going to go down a little bit. Maybe not. We'll see. I, I had one initially and sold it for 80 something. Cause I was like, it's a hot topic exclusive. There's going to be a ton of these. And uh, yeah, the thing is just kept going up. And I think everyone's waiting for people of the chase roulette. You know, the, uh, the Bateman pop, I think comes out. The twenty first or something like that. That's a popular one people want to play with. Uh, Cora, another one people want to play with that one. And there's I, another one from One Punch Man. Oh yeah, uh, one, but the One Punch Man. Tornado. Yeah. 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 She is the number two or three hero. I don't remember, but I pre-ordered all that from uh, Pop Care, so I'm just waiting for them to get them. I think they're good when it comes for pre-orders and stuff like that. They're mystery boxes. And... Recently bought a V for Vendetta. The pop has a 2012 stamp. I uh, like the imprint on the bottom, Loraski. Box has a 2015 sticker. I I thought the V for Vendetta pop was a 2014 or 15. I think you're right. Uh, just says vaulted when you... Oh, it is a 2012 pop. The metallic one says it. 2012 SDCC. Good lord. Well, you never know. They could have done with stickers, and then the boxes get printed. So you just never know. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, you never know. They could have had boxes left over from the original 2012 run and reproduced the figures in 2015, slapped the sticker on at that time. So it's is just Hunter Hunter out in the U.S.? Yes, they are. They are available here. Bye, okay. Sean. Good chase. Very cool. You have the Tornado Glow Chase already, Cope. Is it an international one I'm hoping? I think they, a lot of people pre-ordered them with, like, Box Lunch and Hot Topics. So, you know, maybe they got – I mean, look at Clint, who got the Ang on Air scooter, but yet a lot of other people, they're supposedly not going to come till the end of this month. So you just never know. Uh, Clint gets a lot of stuff early. He picked up that demon Inuyasha in one of his chrono boxes, and that was like, yeah, super early. Came from GameStop. Hmm. Hmm. Awesome, Calvin. I'm glad you liked it, man. I when I see stuff like that and somebody jumps into my head, I pick it up. Found him uh, like a metallic variant. Co I don't know what they're called for comics. It was a variant cover for Power Rangers. And I snagged it off one of the auctions and sent it to him. That's cool. One Punch Man is awesome, Joe. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Saitama could beat the crap out of Vegeta. All right. Well, I'm ready to uh, to bounce off here. Yep. Uh, Alexandra, Andrew has won yet again. <laughs> but I got an Adam. I got four pops I don't own that I'm going to keep. That almost never happens. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Shouts out to Chrono. And guys, look at We're going to probably take next week off. So just so you all know that, Sean's on vacation. Yes. Unless I get super lonely while I'm doing all this stuff and just need human interaction. There you go. I, I'm probably going to pull one of the top pulls this week just because uh, I decided to grab the damage boxes and that wasn't good enough to win. <laughs> Chase for life for terrible. Uh, oh, there's one out of 12. It's, you know, at least you got one. It's better than zero. Better. better than zero, where you buy like 20 of them and then still, still end up going to buy the chase on the secondary market. Yeah. I'm, like, 
I've learned watch Chalice. Just watch Chalice. When you hear new stuff is coming, just order it from Chalice. Yep. A lot cheaper. I mean, the what the mayor and the mayor chase on Chalice is what, 30 or 35 bucks? Something like that. I don't I I think I got mine from Mighty Hobby Shop and the whole the whole thing shipped for the whole common set and the chase was like ninety dollars shipped. Yeah. But I got That's common, everything. Yeah, that was all that was the whole series and the chase. Uh, I got Common and Chase Narrator and Tyler Durden for thirty. Uh, there's a couple other ones I've gotten Common and Chase of, and that's a tough chase to get. Not easy. Cope says he got the Patrick Bateman combo for thirty. I, I've never seen American Psycho. I'm assuming Patrick Bateman is uh, Christian Bale. I think yeah, I guess so. No, I've never seen it. I know he's in that movie. It's a cool pop. I mean, you know, blood on the window. It's kind of cool. Eyes, blood in the eye. Yeah, yeah Andrew's getting close to 4K, guys, and he's uh, doing another one of his big $400, 200 200 100 whatever deals. It goes crazy if we hit it by the 4th of July weekend. Insane. You're not, you're not too far off, right? You're just over 100 160 maybe, 170 something like that. That's not too bad. You just need like a... You know, like a top pop shout out or something. Never talked to him. I I haven't either. What what kills me is the people who will like just send him stuff and be like, oh yeah, I sent him this. <laughs> then he mentions their name just because they sent him something and they think they're best friends. Yeah, I'm not into sending people expensive pops and not my bag. You know, I might mean, send things like hats and stuff like that to people that have helped me or do something like that. I do that, but not. I'm not taking a three hundred dollar pop out of my wallet and here, here you go, or a two hundred dollar pop. Uh, yeah, Andrew and I actually like real money over YouTube money. <laughs> yeah. Not, not, uh, not, not worth it. Not worth it. But it is what it is. Everyone's, everyone's different, has different opinions. I had Wendy's today too, Joe. Good old two for five with the spicy chicken and nuggets. Have you tried that breakfast thing, the breakfast baconator? Oh yes, I have. Have you? It looks no. Well, no. I thought about getting it without the bun one morning. And just you know, it wouldn't be bad keto wise. Looks it looks awesome. Uh, it's it's honestly it's probably horrible for you. I haven't looked at any of that stuff, but I <laughs> saw it. And one morning I woke up with a hangover and was like, DoorDash, bring me this. And I think they have like a maple bacon butter chicken biscuit. I ordered those two yeah. things. Yeah, I was like, just bring me that, and I'm just gonna. Eat and lay in bed with cause. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Much appreciated. I will eventually pack your pops up and send them to you. I think uh, it's only been a couple of days. I, I owe people stuff in Canada. Lori and Ken. <laughs> we actually found the sticker book. It's it's in it's been in, sitting in Chicago. So, oh, all right, cool. And that, saw- that's the hub, so that could be there for a while. Well, something finally came through from them, too. I can't remember if it was Cope or... I feel like it was somebody on the West Coast. Yeah, 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 someone did get it. I think me and Yoj, we're, we're in Chicago waiting. Yeah, I've got the sticker book right here, and I've got the box of stickers behind me. I just need to sit down and actually do it. Every time I go... Every time I think about it, I'm like, oh, I'll just go watch cartoons. Why not? You like the, the maple... Well, butter, bacon, chicken, whatever. It, yeah, it was good, Larry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, if you, if you want to go for breakfast, just get that thing, get it without the bun. They're used to people doing it. At least they are here. Oh, I bet. Yeah. I bet. You got a week off? Yeah, the week is going to be spent organizing this place. You should see some of the photos I, I send to some of these guys just showing them what's laying around here, Zach. He's done a lot of work so far. It doesn't look like it, but I mean, this looks cool. Yeah, I'm trying All to right. get that closet out and line it with. Oh stuff. God, man, your closet! I your just have, closet looks good though. Oh, uh, working on it. <laughs> it's a work in progress. Yeah, it's not bad. Looks good. Thanks. All right, guys. So, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right, guys. So we'll see you probably not next week. But probably the week after, keep your notifications on. 
Don't forget booze and pops this Saturday night. And uh, yeah, have a wonderful, safe weekend, guys. And Thor is going to take you out. Da, 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 da. Bye, that's guys. A th that's a thumbs up. <laughs>